Rain sensor. The weather being as unpredictable, as ever. It's easy to leave your skylights open, only for it to suddenly start raining. Leaving the interior below at risk. With this rain sensor, however, you can stop this from happening. You can use this sensor to monitor rain, or slushy snow, and send closure requests to electronic shutters, windows, awnings or skylights, whenever the rain is detected. How Rain Sensor Works The working of the rain sensor is pretty straightforward. The sensing pad with series of exposed copper traces, together acts as a variable resistor, whose resistance varies, according to the amount of water, on its surface. This resistance is inversely proportional, to the amount of water. The more water on the surface means, better conductivity, and will result in a lower resistance. The less water on the surface means, poor conductivity, and will result in a higher resistance. The sensor produces an output voltage, according to the resistance, which by measuring, we can determine, whether it's raining or not. Hardware Overview A typical rain sensor has two components. The sensing pad. The sensor contains a sensing pad, with series of exposed copper. Traces that is placed out in the open, possibly over the roof, or where it can be affected by rainfall. Usually these traces are not connected, but are bridged by water. The module The sensor also contains an electronic module, that connects the sensing pad, to the Arduino. The module produces an output voltage, according to the resistance of the sensing pad, and is made available at an analog output pin. The same signal is fed to ILM393 high precision, comparator to digitize it, and is made available at an digital output pin. The module has a built-in potentiometer, for sensitivity adjustment, of the digital output. You can set a threshold by using a potentiometer, so that, when the amount of water exceeds the threshold value, the module output will low, otherwise high. Apart from this, the module has two LEDs. The power LED will light up when the module is powered. The status LED will light up, when the digital output goes low. Rain Sensor Pinout The rain sensor is easy to use, and only has four pins to connect. AO, analog output pin, gives us an analog signal, between the supply value, 5 volts, to 0 volts. DO, digital output pin, gives digital output of internal comparator circuit. You can connect it, to any digital pin, on an Arduino, or directly to a 5 volts relay, or similar device. GND, is a ground connection. VCC pin, supplies power for the sensor. It is recommended to power the sensor, with between 3.3 volts to 5 volts. Please note that the analog output will vary, depending on what voltage is provided for the sensor. Wiring rain sensor, with Arduino. Let's hook the rain sensor, up to the Arduino. First you need to supply power to the sensor. For that, you may connect the VCC pin, on the module to 5 volts, on the Arduino. However, one commonly known issue, with these sensors is their short lifespan, when exposed to a moist environment. Having power applied to the sensing pad constantly, speeds the rate of corrosion significantly. To overcome this, we recommend that you do not power the sensor constantly, but power it only when you take the readings. An easy way to accomplish this, is to connect the VCC pin, to a digital pin, of an Arduino, and set it to high, or low as per your requirement. Also the total power drawn by the module, is about 8 mA, so, it is okay to power the module off, a digital pin on an Arduino. So, let's connect the VCC pin, 
on the module to the digital pin number 7, of an Arduino, and GND pin to ground. Finally, connect the DO pin on the module, to the digital pin number 8, on your Arduino. Calibrating Rain Sensor To get accurate readings, out of your rain sensor, it is recommended that you first calibrate it. The module has a built-in potentiometer, for calibrating the digital output. By turning the, the knob of the potentiometer, you can set a threshold. So that, when the amount of water, exceeds the threshold value, the status LED will light up and the digital output, do, will output low. Now to calibrate the sensor, sprinkle some water on the sensing pad, and adjust the pot clockwise. So that the status LED is on, and then adjust the pot back counterclockwise, just until the LED goes off. That's it your sensor is now calibrated, and ready for use.